My name is Billy O'Connell. I'm a GP general practitioner in uh, Milltown Malbay for the last 30 years and uh, I teach in University of Limerick in pr professional development. Professions in Ireland are coming under increasing pressure because we have a certain contract with the people we serve. By this we mean we have to do more than above the, the job description describes and we have to help and care for these people as much as we can. Professionalism in medicine is a human endeavour. By this I mean that we as humans are not always going to succeed, especially where, we, where professionalism in medicine is concerned because we have areas such as caring, empathy, leadership, advocacy. We can't always adhere to the high standards and these no matter how hard we try. We fail and fall. And by falling, what do we do? We get up, we dust ourselves down, and we try and do it better the next time. At this stage, I'd take you on a little journey of where I've come from, my journey in life, and, you know, I suppose what has given me my value system. I was born in the west of Ireland in Kerry, which brings its own responsibilities. Uh, so uh, I was uh, educated by the Christian Brothers and the UCC, and to say that it was imbibed with Socratic uh, questioning would probably be not strictly true. It was a very narrow educational system, but I always felt that there was a lot more questions to be answered. So I suppose I was very fortunate and it allowed me to travel. I got married in 84, we went to Africa in 85, and it has special memories for me. I suppose one of the first memories is that my elder son, Gareth, was born there, and he had the local name Choria, which means lucky because uh, he was born by Caesarean section, and uh, he has Choria in his passport, and we actually went back to revisit it, and he was known as Choria still back in the, in, in the local village. But the other big uh, part of my life that was taken up with uh, my trip to Africa was because we were just at the very beginning of the HIV epidemic. We were about three months in the job and research workers came down and suddenly we knew we were in the middle of a health disaster. I worked with Irish uh, missionary sisters who were doing a fantastic job in curing but probably brought a lot of I suppose the medical instruments from the Western world of curing, uh, etc. But we knew very quickly that what we had was not going to help us in this uh, human disaster. And words in the professional dialects such as uh, caring uh, were very much to the fore because as such there wasn't a cure. So really the doctor became the medicine him, themselves or any care worker that was helping at the time became the medicine because all we could do was give empathy and care and it became more of a spiritual journey rather than a med medical journey. Words that are particularly important to me as a medical professional are the privilege of being a medical profession. By this I mean the privilege of looking after people. You are going to meet them in their most vulnerable positions and they are going to allow you in and they're going to tell you things that they will never tell their nearest and dearest even. So what a privilege that is and to respect that privilege is just humongous and so important. The word respect probably pervades all parts of professionalism in medicine, be it the care we give our patients but also the care that the managers should be giving to the workers in the medical profession. Sadly, all workers in the medical profession will say that they are not getting the respect they would so like to do to act as full professionals. And by not getting the disrespect, they can't continue in sometimes the most difficult of roles. And sometimes they burn out, they may go into a different part of the profession or else may leave the country completely and go to an area where probably professionalism is held in higher esteem than we may be doing at the moment. I was speaking to a nurse colleague of mine there last week and she told me that she had committed herself to maybe 15 years of a very stressful part in the local hospital and she and her two colleagues were leaving. And I said, what did the management feel about this when, when you were leaving? Well, I, said, I don't know because no one came to ask me. So, and I said, and they didn't ask you why you were leaving, and uh, no, and they didn't thank you for what you had done, no. So you can see that if we don't bring this professional development into all parts of medicine, that we are going to have a system that is doomed for failure. If you would like further information 
on professionalism in medicine, please contact me, Billy O'Connell, at the Graduate Entry Medical School at the University of Limerick.